We know him as the host of The Masked Singer, the stupidly talented actor and equally gifted rapper. We've seen him on shows such as Wildin' Out, America's Got Talent, and The Nick Cannon Show. But there is more to Nick than just being in the spotlight. Behind closed doors, he's been married to one of the most famous female singers of our time. He's no stranger to tragedy and has had his fair share of visits to the maternity ward. So without further ado, here's the story of Nick Cannon, his babies, and the baby mamas. To say that Nick Cannon has been blessed with a large family would be an understatement. In fact, despite still only being 41, he already has a whopping seven children under his belt with four different women. He's definitely a fun dad and seems incredibly invested in his children by constantly sharing tons of photos across social media. He does have his critics though, and many have spoken out after he had four children in less than a year. Some were also disgruntled about him having so many children with four different women. In a July episode of his podcast, Nick stated that he was having children on purpose and that there were a lot of women I could have got pregnant that I didn't. The ones that got pregnant are the ones that were supposed to get pregnant. Stay true to yourself and wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> like wrap it up, unless unless like you wrap just, it up, like hurry up and wrap it up. No, like, wrap it wrap up, up as in protect yourself. Wrap it up and protect yourself. Like I'm having these kids on purpose. Okay, so if you have them on purpose, <laughs> what I'm saying. No accident. Okay, <laughs> so if you have these kids on purpose, then it's nothing I can tell you about your life. Way to silence the haters. So, who are the baby mamas that were Nick's chosen ones? Well, first up, I give you multi-award winning global music sensation Mariah Carey. Turns out, all she wanted for Christmas was Nick's babies. After the couple met in 2005 at the Teen Choice Awards, where he presented her with the Surfboard Award for Music Choice R&B Artists, by 2008, speculation arose that the two were official after Mariah cast Nick as the love interest in her video, Bye Bye. In her book, Mariah said she was attracted to Nick because she felt safe with him and didn't feel like they were operating on different levels, both personally and professionally. Likewise, Nick explained that he had no problem falling back with Mariah and the relationship made him feel comfortable in myself and who I was. Needless to say, it was no big surprise when Nick proposed to Mariah with an eye-watering 17-karat pink diamond ring, and the couple tied the knot in the Bahamas on April 30th, 2008. The couple had so much fun at their wedding, they even decided to renew their vows every year on their anniversary. Aww! Meantime, with proposals, marriage, and vow renewal out of the way, there was only one more thing to tick off the list, some baby making. Babies Moroccan and Monroe were born on April 30th, 2011, and would later be nicknamed Them Babies. The date was significant, as this was exactly three years after Nick and Mariah tied the knot. Talk about perfect timing. Later in her book, Mariah would say that our desire to have children became a force of nature and why we got married so quickly. In fact, before she met Nick, she wasn't even sure if she wanted to have kids. But why Moroccan and Monroe, I hear you ask? Well, Moroccan was named after the Moroccan-themed room that Mariah had created in her New York home, and Monroe was named after one of Mariah's idols, Marilyn Monroe. And why not? Anyway, maybe the responsibility of having kids was too much, or perhaps Nick was just ready for more baby mamas. Who knows? But in 2014, this fairy tale love story came to an abrupt end. Mariah commented in her book, I think Nick and I could have worked it out between the two of us, but egos and emotions got inflamed. She went on to explain that making the necessary adult adjustments to being working parents and entertainment took its toll on our relationship. Whatever happened, it's good to see two adults working together and being amicable for the sake of their children. Today, both Mariah and Nick are committed to their family and continue to co-parent their twins. I think I, I get what you said because I, I had, can't. I think I'll never be able to be with just one woman again. Like that, like that's gonna be tough for me. Like, in 2019, during a podcast interview, Nick even said that if I was to do it again, it would be with her. It would be Mariah. She's always gonna be someone that I love. Honestly, we don't think we've ever heard anything more beautiful. The thing is, when asked about it, Mariah thought he was making it all up. We love everybody. But, but would you ever be down to remarry with Nick? Remarrying? I'm glad I'm, I, I, 
He's making this up. This is him being silly. Before we get carried away, though, it's pretty obvious to see that we didn't get the happy ending we wanted, and Mariah and Nick did remarry. In fact, in 2016, while still raising the twins, the couple got divorced and Nick found a new love lust in the form of Brittany Bell. Now, Nick and Brittany first met in 2015, began dating for a couple of years, and then quite surprisingly, out of the blue, the couple announced the birth of their son, Golden Saigon. Nick doesn't wait around, does he? The couple took to Instagram and wrote, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. No matter how hard the world may hit you, God always reminds us of our purpose. Welcome to Earth, son. The trouble is, nothing could recreate the love that Nick and Mariah had together. And shortly after, the couple broke up, or so it seemed. In November 2020, the couple were surprisingly pictured hand in hand at Nick's 33rd birthday celebration, where Brittany was sporting a fresh new baby bump. Nick really can't keep it in his pants, can he? Nature ran its course, and in December 2020, the pair welcomed their second baby together, a beautiful daughter named Queen. Naturally, the first place to announce the birth of your baby daughter is Instagram, where Brittany wrote, the best gift ever. We have been surprised with a girl. All I can say is that Nick was my rock through the most intense yet empowering natural water birth. It was nothing but powerful. Aw, a Christmas baby. Can you think of anything cuter? Now, we'd love to say that Nick decided to call it a day at this point, but why have four kids when you can have six? Yes, you guessed it. Just months after the powerful birth of Queen, Nick's latest girlfriend, no, he didn't stay with Brittany. Abby De La Rosa announced that she's also given birth to twins. Are you keeping up? Zion and Zillion were born in June 2021, and Abby took to the gram to post, Welcome to the World. In fact, Abby's Instagram account is more like a family photo album with various updates on the boys, including one of her and Nick lying in bed with them and another of the twins with huge headphones on in front of a turntable. Now, let's just recap. Between December 2020 and July 2021, Nick had helped create four kids, so it's a little surprise that at this point, the fans of the father of seven were wondering if he was thinking of taking things a little bit slower on, you know, the baby production line. In September 2021, whilst talking to Entertainment Tonight, Nick, then 40, said, I am not sitting out here planning it. My therapist says I should stay celibate. I come from a big family. I have several siblings and being raised in an unorthodox family by my grandparents at times. I've experienced such a wide range of upbringing that I have such a love and passion for my kids and family. Furthermore, during an interview with The Breakfast Club, he also had food for thought for those who have criticized his polyamorous approach to relationships. He said, the idea that you're supposed to have one person for the rest of your life it's a Eurocentric concept, he continued. The idea that a man should have one woman. We shouldn't have anything. I don't have ownership over this person. That told him, Nick. Anyway, back to June 2021. And Nick, along with his now girlfriend, model Alyssa Scott, gave birth to another baby boy, who they named Zen. Nick broke the news on Instagram, where he posted a super cute photo of him, along with other special moments with his other children. Sadly, unlike Nick's other babies, this story had an abrupt ending. On December 7, 2021, during an episode of The Nick Cannon Show, Nick announced that baby Zen had died from a brain tumor. Fans were left in shock as Nick sobbed through the news, revealing that the brain tumor had started to grow very quickly and that he was there with him on his final day. Up until this point, it was not public knowledge that Zen had any health issues. Nick further added, I've always noticed he had a cough, so I decided to investigate. He continued, he had this peculiar breathing pattern, and by the time he was two months old, I noticed he had a cannon-like head. A trip to the doctor with Alyssa confirmed the worst, and they had been told he had fluid building in his head and a malignant tumor. I think it was 
called, uh, if I'm not mistaken, but it was like where it was fluid that was building up in his head and that was the cause of his head was starting to get big. In January 2021, Nick admitted he was still grieving the loss of his five-month-old son and that his presence was still felt around him. In his words, Zen was his forever angel. Meanwhile, Alyssa had taken to Instagram to write, Oh my sweet Zen, the soreness I felt in my arm from holding you is slowly fading. It's a painful reminder that you're no longer here. She wrote, I caught myself looking in the back seat as I was driving only to see the mirror no longer reflecting your perfect face back at me. When I close the door too loudly, I hold my breath and wince, knowing a soft cry will shortly follow. It doesn't come. The silence is deafening. Nobody should have to feel the pain of their child passing away, let alone one so young. We can't even begin to imagine what Alyssa and Nick have gone through and our thoughts are with them and their family. It seems sad that this could be the reason that Nick may now take a break from having more children, at least for a while, in order to give himself time to grieve.